Uh, working on the uh, old uh, 1930 uh, FH Briggs here. This is the backing plate. Right, last time we uh, we epoxied that two broken pieces on there, and uh, that's that's as solid as can be. So, uh, all right, now what we got to do is uh, actually we really don't have to straighten this. I mean, it's bent like a pretzel, but it it doesn't get seen, and all it does is hold the shroud on. But uh, maybe we'll play with it just to hone our skills a little bit. You know, that, that just fits on there. And once it's on there, well, you you do notice it's bent, but it is side here is where the UPS guy took care of it for me. And down here, it's sort of bent up because it was warped, and down here it's it's bent down because it's warped, and and even up here. So this thing is uh, it's pretty bent up, but uh, let's see what we can do. Let's look it over. All right, first, I want to try and get the. Uh, matter of fact, I'll show you on here. It's easier to see on here. Right here, it's, it's it's nice and flat. This one section, but this section. Maybe I'll put it this way. You can see better. Let me get this out of the way. All right? You don't want to see that. All right? You see on a flat plate here. This this whole side here is all lifted up. Same with over here. And then this is all bent. So to start with, uh, maybe we'll just grab this here and try and straighten what we can, you know, before we start banging on it. All right, that's we got that a little better. Same with down here. So just a little bit, uh, you got us in the ballpark. Now, I don't know if you can see, but that's that's bent up. But it's probably not bent up as, as bad as it looks because this here is bent down. You know, you got that, that little uh, titty sticking up. So let's let's get rid of that first. Got the magic hammer here. Might as well use it, right? Got to be careful there because there's like a, a bevel right there. So uh, we're just going to bring it down a little bit. Okay. So that's uh, that's a lot better. See now while we have that down here, that's uh, like that. I don't know if you've seen that, but I almost hit my finger. I felt it. I felt the breeze. It was so close. I injure I injure myself. We're 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 out of luck. We got a closed shop. Okay. It's getting better. It's getting better. We got a little dimple up here too. Bring that down. Bring that down just a little bit. that up better than it was okay it's just a matter of playing around a little bit a little bit at a time see what's bent and bring it back okay. actually this whole piece up here is all bent too but I don't know if you can see that where you're at. Bring it right up there. I uh, forgot to warn you guys with the headphones. Go ahead, get them. I'll wait a second. Okay. That's actually yeah, pretty good. We're happy 
that. Look at that. Straight as an arrow there. Okay. Let me just look around, see where uh, see where it's spent. And then we uh, we finagle it a little more. Pretty good, pretty good. You know, the funny thing is, after I straighten this, I'm going to have to re-bend it to the shape of the, the plate. But it's a lot better already. Sometimes you just get your hands and push on it. Okay. Yeah, it's a whole lot better already. Like I say, all it does is uh, hold the shroud on. Alright, I'm going to play with it a little bit longer than that. Uh, we'll show you what it looks like. Alright, yeah, I played with it for a couple minutes and uh, yeah, pretty good actually. I'd say better than factory. I don't know how you guys can see that. But you can you just see around here how smooth it is. You know, so it came out pretty good. You see, you're not even going to see it. But, uh, you know what's interesting? It's the bottom. It's the drain right here. And uh, let me put my glasses on here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, there's actually two holes, and they're both side by side all the way around. And I don't even know this is the way it goes on, but uh, I'm just going to show you here. You see, these are the original, the original rivet holes here. And then the mother holes. This plate, this backing plate and this shroud holder also fit the, the Y model. This is the FH and the Y model, but the uh, Y model is on an angle, like that. So them holes there would be if you had a Y model, and, and the shroud tilts off to the side. Pretty unique, pretty cool. Alright, you know what? We're, uh, we'll clean these up and paint them. You don't have to see that. I think maybe what we'll do next is, uh, I don't know if we'll work on the head or work on a block, because we have uh, some bolts we got to take out of there. So uh, let me think that over and we'll get back to you. All right. Yeah, I decided to work on a block. Right? I'm going to have to do it eventually. So I got this uh, one stud over here was broken off, you know? And I have a feeling it's going to be a problem. First, I'm going to have to. Uh, grind it down make it level so I can center punch it and uh, start drilling it out but let me turn it let me lay it on the side here yeah it's uh, I don't know if you can see it but it actually okay yeah it helps you a little bit see that it comes it comes way down there there's the other end of it so I'm gonna try and uh, maybe wire wheel that and clean this up a bit <clears throat> but that's actually if you see that let me come over here so you can see that it's a good uh, three quarters of an inch there we go yeah three quarters of an inch long so it's not going to be easy you know anytime I uh, try and get a bolt out or something like that I always uh, I use the aerocoil, you know, and, and whenever I use it, someone says, oh, you know, you, you need to use automatic transmission fluid and, and acetate, so I'm going to try it. I know I've, I've used it before, and uh, it really didn't impress me, and uh, I know guys that swear by it, and, you know, if a bolt's going to come out, it's going to come out with this or, or aerocoil, but uh, I'm not, I don't have such high hopes, but uh, we're going to try it. We'll mix it up and try it. All right. All right, let's try and get some of that dirt around here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh well, it's the best we can do. Now, yeah, we can't have to come all the way up here, you guys. Put you in, put you guys in view. All right, let's grind that down, and hopefully we can still see where the bolt's at. Get a, I think it's uh, 80 grit. Let me get a, a rougher grit. Alright, let's try this. Uh, I could also see the bolt, so that's good. Alright, let's mix up some of this uh, magic potion here. Acetone and uh, automatic transmission fluid. And we'll put it on there and let it soak for a little bit. Alright, let's mix some of this up. Try not to get uh, too much all over the place. I just got a little, uh, little tiny cup here. We don't need much, right? 50-50-50? All right, it's a little too much. All right, and then 50% uh, acetate, acetone, same stuff. All right, here we go. Like I say, I don't have too much. Uh, Open this, but can you guys see it? It actually makes it pretty good, I can see it. Alright, somebody's gonna say, Oh, you should put the acetate in first, the acetone in first. Alright, let's see what we got here. I'm sticking all the way down the bottom, so I'm not just grabbing acetate, acetone. Put a good bit on there. I'll turn these around here. Put some on the top. Let that sit a while and then we'll get back to you. It's actually turning some kind of color. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. It is uh it is doing something. That's crazy. Let me take you off the stand here. Hold on. See, that's not me doing that. That's actually bubbling, doing, doing all kinds of stuff by itself. But that's what it was doing up top. 
Oh, I know it's wrong. Here we go. Try that. Hmm. We'll put some more in while we're watching it. Oops, sorry about that. Let's see if it does the same thing. See, it's doing something. Almost like Alka Seltzer. I don't want to focus in on it. Usually I can, I can zoom in on something real close. Don't want to do it. There it goes. It's doing it. So I was doing, uh, was doing some funky stuff. So we'll, we'll keep it on there, I think maybe I'll keep uh, putting some on there for a little bit, and then we'll see what happens. Let's put some more on there. Yeah, it's doing something. I don't know if it's, where it's working way into the, the threads. But I know uh, Harold Croyle don't do that. Interesting. Alright, I got the block sitting upside down now, and uh, I put a bunch of this stuff down here and I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this sit down here for an hour you see it bubbling up on there do you see that I'm gonna put more in here so I tilt this back down but we're gonna give it a chance let's do the thing so like I said, I'm going to put the, I'm going to leave this like this for an hour, and then I'm going to come back and put some more on the top for an hour. So uh, we won't be working on this for a little bit. So I'll see you when I get back, and, and let's hope for the best. All right, it's the next day, and uh, I wanted to give this the best chance I could to uh, for it to work, and uh, I had it turned upside down, and uh, I kept uh, putting some of that magic fluid on there on the bottom of that that bolt and then uh, I, I turned it over you know I let I, I did that for about uh, eight hours then I turned it over and put some more slop on the top here and uh, you see it all over you know saturated pretty good and then uh, I kept putting that on there for another eight hours or so and then let it sit overnight so uh, I want like I said I want to give it as best a chance and then even this one here, this uh, this head, you can see it, I got it, uh, you know, it's been like that overnight, so uh, when I, get, I start to work on that, hopefully that'll help a little bit, so. Alright, what we're going to do with this now is, uh, I'm going to get my center punch and we'll try to center punch uh, a tiny little hole in as uh, close to center as, as we can, and then we'll put in a drill press and try and drill it out. Alright. Let me get let me get set up and then we'll get back to you. All right, let's try and put a, a hole in here. Center point shit. Uh, good thing I could I could see the outline of the whole thing. I don't know if this is gonna be better. Wipe it off. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That's uh. Let's say that's pretty close. It's pretty close. Alright. Got a good size uh, divot in there that'll hold the drill in place. Alright. Let's go over to the drill press. Alright. Yeah, we're all clamped in here. I'm uh, just gonna I'm just gonna make a pilot hole here. I'm not gonna go all the way down. 
just some way. I'm not, I want to use a 3 8. I don't want to use nothing this small to try and get down here because if it snaps off in there, then, then you got problems. Then you got real problems. All right, let's try this. Good enough uh, to start my uh, three sixteenths. That's a a five sixteenths hole, so I'm going to drill. I'm going to start with a three sixteenths bit. All right, let's give this a try. Ooh, I was left handed. Try it right handed here. Okay. We're all cranked down there. It's a brand new bit, so it should be all right. I'm going to look down here see how close it is on the bottom. Alright. Yeah, when I drilled that through there, it, uh, good thing I used a 3 16 because it, it would just touch the threads. And uh, that might be good because uh, I tried an easy out already. And I even uh, collapsed some of the top here with a chisel. So maybe... Uh, I'll try this stuff here. The last thing I want to do is heat. Everybody's saying heat it up, heat it up. The last thing you want to do with cast iron is heat it because when it cools down, you always have that chance of it cracking. You know, it's uh, very uh, brittle, fragile stuff. You know, even if even when you're trying to cool it down slow, you know, it doesn't always work. So, so I'm going to try this, uh, this stuff here, freeze off. What it does is freeze it. I just want to get some movement in them threads. It says here, uh, Hold it on there for uh, five to ten seconds. No, ten to ten to twenty seconds. So let's let's try that. All right. One, two, three, two, three. Okay. All right. It is cold. Like I said, I got all kinds of easy outs here, you know, and uh, what we got here, Vermont, Vermont America, Industrial Quality, Hanson, I think I'll try that one. I also got these square type, where'd they go? Hmm. Yeah, I got these square type, you know, Some sometimes they work better, but uh, let's try another one. If that don't work, you know what, since, since I do have some threads on here, if this don't work, and I'll, I'll spray it down with some more, uh... Alright. Some more of that transmission fluid. No, I don't think I'm getting any movement. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not getting any movement at all, so. Last thing you want to do is snap one of these off in there. Hey, yi yi. All right, I'm going to juice that off. All up, I'm going to blow this, uh, this crap off, whatever it is, and uh, we'll uh, put some more juice on there, see if that helps. Might make, like I say, maybe it'll get to the threads. It looks boogered up here, but it's not, you know. If you notice on these other ones, you know, the top is uh, is sort of concave right there. Or we've got a chamfer. So, all right, let me clean this up, and then we'll uh, squirt it down with, uh, or wipe it down with uh, transmission fluid. All right. Yeah, we finished lunch and uh, we've had this soaking for about an hour and uh, we're going to give it a try. But before we uh, continue on with that, I got just got something in the mail minutes ago and uh, it's pretty cool. It comes from my buddy Jim. It goes by Mad Styles on uh, the YouTube TV there. And uh, he sent me a bunch of spark plugs, 12 spark plugs here. They're uh, vintage and they're pretty cool. Champions. And they're all they're uh, all packed in uh, cosmoline. And uh, he told me a while back he was going to send these to me. And it's pretty cool. And uh, he's got one. These are these are regular plugs going uh, regular engines. And uh, he's got one big one here I could use in uh, the hit and miss. So that's pretty cool. Champion 49. It's a good shape too. Excellent shape. And uh, I seen these. I'm looking at. I said WC spark plugs. I've never heard of them before, and I'm wondering. What's uh, going on there? And it says guarantee 10,000 miles, and I'm thinking spark plugs, you know, are good for 100,000 miles or something like that. So I looked at it, and uh, whoops, almost lost that one. And I looked at it, and somewhere, here you go, reconditioned and guaranteed. It's funny how back then a spark plug was good enough to recondition, and uh, it's pretty cool, you know, it's uh, nice and clean. And they give you a new crush washer with it and everything. I guess they, they sandblast them and test them. But uh, it's good. We can use these on the, the engines. They even, they even have it. Let me, get it. let me try and get away from the glare. Even t they even stamp it on there. Repaired. By WC. I don't want to focus on that. There we go. Repaired by WC. Pretty cool. But anyway... Yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys when you go, uh, when I mention somebody's name and you, and you go check them out and a lot of you subscribe, I appreciate that because guys like uh, Jim here, I don't even think he has like 600 subscribers and, and when you're that far down in the grass, uh, nobody even knows you're there. So uh, I appreciate what he did for me and uh, go check his channel out. He's, he's good. He has a good channel. He, uh, he restores old tools and he's working on an old Volkswagen, a little VW Beetle he's restoring. And then I seen a, he, a couple weeks back, he had an Indian motorcycle there uh, from the, the 30s. He was working on for a friend of his, but uh, he's always got good stuff there. And he's a nice guy, quiet, and uh, just putzes around the garage like we do here. So uh, go over there and check him out. Let him know Road King sent you, and I'll leave a, a link in the description for you guys. Like I say, I appreciate you guys checking out these, uh, these smaller channels. So, all right. Let's uh, let's get back to this and, and see what it does. If if this doesn't come out, I think I'm going to clean it all up and then uh, try aero coil. And then uh, if that don't work, we're going to have to try and put a little heat on there. So, all right, all right. Thanks a lot. Thanks again, Jim. All right, let's do some work. All right, the transmission fluid doesn't seem to be working, so uh, I put a, a plug in the bottom there, a golf tee, and. Uh, I filled that hole up with some uh, aero coil, and uh, we'll see what that does. We'll let that sit for another hour, and then uh, if that don't work, then we'll hit it with some uh, heat. All right, we'll see you then. All right, it's the next day, and uh, I didn't have any success at all with this. I heated that up, and uh, you know, got the torch out and everything. Had aero coil, aero coil didn't help, so uh, I'm just going to drill it and retap it, and uh, it, it should be okay. I don't suggest anybody else do that, but uh, that's what I'm going to do, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right. Yeah, that worked out well. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, believe me. Uh, and uh, we didn't have any room for error here either. I don't know if you can see how close that. This is the one I uh, just tapped out, and I chased, I chased all these other threads. 
and uh, they're all pretty good. Don't like it's focusing in on, but uh, yeah, there's no room for error. You know this. Uh, I don't. I don't know if you can see on this, but let me turn that light out. But you see them bolt holes. There's not but a a centimeter there between the cylinder head and the, the thing. And uh, also these bolts, they're special bolts in that head. You know, fits right inside that little uh, that thing there. So there's, you know, there's no play at all once this is on there. Let's see if I can figure out how this goes on. I think here's your fuel line. Okay. I'm gonna put this camera down for a second so I can start them bolts. Uh, here's the one we drilled out, and uh, you know that turns nice. Same with all these others, you know. They all, they all turn nice. Oops, sorry about that. I was looking at the the screw. Yeah, you know, all these are turning good. So there we go. But if you look, you said none of them are tight yet, but there's absolutely no play at all. You know, you know. Sometimes you have a little bit of uh, wiggle room, but uh, not here. So, all right. That's. Uh, it took me two, three days to, to mess with that. You know, letting all the stuff uh, soak through and stuff, and uh, none of it helped. So, all right. Sometimes it happens. All right. Let's take his head off, and maybe we'll play with the head. First, I'll, first I'll see how much time we got left on this uh, this video, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. All right. Yeah, I was going to uh, take the pin out of this, but uh, I checked this video, and I think this video is over over 30 minutes already, almost 35. But uh, I did try that pin, and that pin did move. I got movement out of it, so that's a good sign. However, the, I was going to take the spring out here, the keepers and everything, and uh, that's pretty tight, so I might just leave that the way it is, you know. Why create problems? But anyway... Yeah, it's, uh, the video's getting too long to start some another uh, segment, so uh, what do you say we wrap this one up, and, uh, you know, we got a lot done. You know, it took a long time just for that, just to take it, uh, make that bowl hole, so, and uh, straighten out the, the backing plate and everything, so uh, we got some done. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me, if you, if you stayed here this long, so uh, what do you say? We'll see you in the next one. All right, enough of this.